The learning curve for this operation is like no other operation. Unlike many operations in which the, opera in which the surgery involves a resection phase that's fairly straightforward, a, a Whipple procedure involves a meticulous dissection of some critical blood vessels and, and oftentimes venous resections of the portal vein, superior mesenteric vein, because the pancreatic cancer may be stuck to those blood vessels. That's a technically demanding operation and a potentially dangerous operation even done in the best of hands through an open approach. So adopting that technology, that minimally invasive approach to a potentially dangerous operation is really appropriately uh, 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 slowed the adoption of that technology uh, in, in the general population amongst cancer surgeons. And after you're done resecting the tumor, you have to put things back together again. And that involves a series of complex anastomoses involving suturing the pancreas to the intestine, the bile duct, and the bowel back together again to the stomach. And all that fine suturing is a challenge for even the best of laparoscopic and robotic surgeons. So the learning curve for this operation involves careful dissection of potentially dangerous vascular uh, structures and reconstruction of elegant, elaborate, technically demanding uh, re uh, anastomo reconstructive anastomoses and the patient's entire post-operative outcome often depends on minimizing those complications. So why hasn't it become adopted rap as rapidly as minimally invasive surgery for the other, other tumor sites? Plain and simply, safety.